Hello everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to make comments. Alright, let's get going. So sometimes you'll want to make a note in your code that doesn't actually run. That's when we write a comment. The syntax for the comment looks something like this. The command is a hashtag and everything after that hashtag is ignored. So the computer does not try to run it as if it were code. So here it is in action. I have a print statement and if I run it, it prints. So nothing new here. Now if I put that hashtag in front of it, and I run it again, it does not print. So there it is, a comment in action. The commented code does not run. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I have four lines of code, just printing yes, and you see it runs. Now I'm going to comment them all at once. And so I select them all, and I hit Control slash. And you see it comments them all at once. This is a trick that will work if I do my Python in Replit or in any other sort of advanced developing environment. I can reverse that if I select the whole thing and I do control slash, it will uncomment everything. All right, so now I'm going to go over when to comment and when not to comment. And if you're interested in this subject, there's a great article on Stack Overflow to check out. All right, so the first instance of when you want to use comments is to have a citation. In this example, Hannah explains to me how to write this. When you make it clear that somebody else basically walked you through this, you're going to protect yourself against academic honesty issues. If you copy it straight up wholesale from another site, you should definitely cite it. Again, avoid academic honesty issues. Another good time to comment is to make a reference. So in this example, I'm implementing the newton raphson method. The next person coming into this code may be like, I have no idea what the heck this means. Hey, look, there's this nice link that goes over the newton raphson method. How great. So this is an example of another time when you want to have a comment. Summaries can also be good uses of comments. So here I'm summarizing each section of my code, which can help me find what I'm looking for. Just as important, though, is to know when not to comment. So every so often, you'll see these teachers, most of them who have not programmed ever for real, will say something like, good code is well commented code. And they'll have you do something crazy like this. This is an example from Reddit, where every single line of code is commented. This is bad. Don't do this. For the most part, good code is self-explanatory. So rather than using comments to paper over bad code, what you should focus on for now is writing code that's easy to understand. And what does this mean? Well, for one, you want to have good variable names and follow Python coding conventions. And we're going to see all of these in the labs coming up. But to quickly summarize, to make a comment, we use the hashtag. And if you want to comment and uncomment many, many lines at once, select them all and hit control slash. Now it's time for the lab. This one's the easiest of all time. So please pause the video and try it out. But if you get stuck, then I'm going over the solutions right now. So lab is just asking me to make a comment. So here I go. Remember the comment is a hashtag and then whatever your comment is after that. So I'm going to make a hashtag, hello world. I'm going to run the code, and then it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.